We have a very special guest here today. We have Brandon, who brought down his 94 Acura Integra, AKA Monica, Monica, from the original Fast and Furious. He drove all the way from Los Angeles to come down here. And I think it's really cool to have all three of the cars in the same shot, even though what's interesting is the Supra and this car never even shared the screen at all. Uh, I think it's really awesome. So Brandon, thank you for coming down. Yeah, thanks for having me. Tell us about your car here. So it's a 94 Integra GSR. That took the longest to find, finding a clean stock GSR. Sure. But I ended up finding one. Um, my buddy Mo sent it to me and uh, I ended up going out to buy it out in Hemet, California. Okay, so not so, too far. Not too far, it was like a three, three, four hour drive. And this was 100% stock when you got it? 100% stock, yeah. Okay. And then uh, my buddy Shahar helped me source parts and then a bunch of our other friends helped me source parts because a lot of these they don't even make anymore sure on any of these parts so so real quick for those who have been watching our youtube channel for a while shahar came down with his uh replica eclipse yeah i actually think was it bef it might have been even before we had finished this car so we've known shahar for a long time and i know i've seen this car all over social media yeah. um which is really awesome so this is monica i yep, mean monica. i don't even know if that's why it was named why was it named monica besides <laughs> I don't know. I think they just named it. As soon as he said no, Monica in the movie. That like stuck. That just stuck. Yeah, it just stuck. Monica. It was like a very iconic uh, dialogue for that film. So this started life as a 94 GSR. We have yep. Wings West body kit. Let's yep. go through like some of the stuff on the outside. For sure. Wings West body kit. We'll go to Momo GT2 wheels. Those was a funny story. We found a pair in Africa. Okay. Uh, just only two of them. We found one rim in Italy and then one in England. And I was like, do I really want to spend $20,000 on rims? Wow. But uh, Shahar and I, we looked it online and found them on uh, Facebook Marketplace okay. on the Honda Civic in New Jersey. I've had really good luck on Facebook Marketplace just finding some weird stuff, but like yeah. from what, when I remember talking to Shahar, like some of the really hard things to find are the wheels that are yeah. accurate from the movie. Yeah. So we, could, we took kind of a different approach, obviously with our builds where it's like a modern day touch. So we didn't For have sure. to worry about That's that. That's easier. <laughs> it, it probably is. Cause yeah, I mean, I, it's such a interesting kind of oddball wheel with probably a pretty weird fitment as well, I would assume. Yeah, it uh, was hard to find 17s too. Cause these are set, these are same same ones that were on the film. So okay. they're 17s. Cause we, we, we were finding like 19s. We were yeah. finding 20s. So yeah, those took the longest. But yeah, the Wings West kit, they ended up making it for me in a and, week. Right and they're before. out of business too, right? Or, yeah, so VI, VIS bought out Wings West. Okay, got which it. Which I didn't know. Okay. Um, so when I called, all of a sudden, uh, Fred answers the phone. And this kit was actually put in months in advance before I had the car because we knew we were gonna start making okay, it. Okay, got it. And then my buddy was like, hey, I'm gonna get it the week right before Fuel Fest and I'll get it on. And I'm like, dude, that's that quick. A quick that's a quick turnaround time. I remember when the original Fast and Furious came out, 2001, uh, my brother Rick, uh, our president of Throttle, uh, he had a 94 red Integra oh, RS. Exactly. And I remember going to see the movie with him and after that it was like crazy and all of us were just hooked wow. on you know the movie series and everything. Mm -hmm. And for me at least, as maybe a lot of you guys can probably tell, like we, I really resonate with the first movie. For sure, Things kind of changed like after, th you know, Tokyo Drift, I think. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the original ones really had, in my opinion, like the spirit and embodied what car culture was in 2001. For sure. And it's cool to see this kind of going back in time. Like, you know, it's it's just really cool to see something that's movie accurate to 2001. I didn't want to do a car that was already done. Um, and my buddy uh, Gabriel in Miami, he has the screen used one. Oh, really? Okay. So we went back and forth like, hey, you know, are these the right parts? Are these the right fitment? And so we'll try to get it as accurate to the, the film car Let's as Let's look at the interior real quick. For sure, yeah. So I see you got a steering wheel, you got some Momo seats. Those yeah. are something you don't see very often. So and these, they only made for like a year in the early 2000s. Okay. And I was like, do I really want a bucket seat that I can't recline? Yeah. So I found somebody who was selling these out of their BMW and I'm like, 
He just, dude, no way. Parts so like hunting, everything kind of just aligned like the week right before Fuel Fest. So I ended up getting these. I was going to reupholster them red, but I'm like, dude, we don't have time. Fuel yeah, Fest is like sure. tomorrow. I remember seeing this at Fuel Fest. Like, there's a million replicas of the Eclipse yeah. in the Supra, but this one is one that, you know, there's not too many. And then this is a GSR too. Yes. I, don't, I mean, Bone it was kind of hard GSR. to tell in the movie. I don't know if they really specified if it was a GSR or not. No, they didn't. It, that was where like uh, Gabriel and everybody came into play and was like, hey, it is, you know, it's a GSR. It a GSR. So I was like, all right, I need to, I need to find a clean GSR. I see you got some names signed on the dash. Yeah, Who's on that? Cody, Cody uh, okay. signed it, Craig signed it, and then, um, shoot, why am I drawing a blank? Jesse. Uh, oh, really? Uh, okay. Yeah. So that's another one. Chad the white Lindbergh, Jetta. there we go. Yeah, Chad Lindbergh. Yeah. So the white Jetta is also one that we have kind of contemplated doing, kind of an oddball. There's That'd been be a couple cool replicas, um, but kind of interesting doing maybe a modern day uh, Jetta would be, I think, that kind of cool. interesting. Want to pop the hood? Sure, yeah, yeah. Pop the hood? Pop the hood. Bone stock, I haven't got to do anything under the hey, hood that's yet. That's all right. To be honest, I actually think a bone stock GSR is probably more rare than one that's modded out at this point. That's true. Honestly, dude, it was hard to find one that was like not beat. Yeah, there she is. Back in high school, my buddy had, I think it was a 95 GSR. He did a turbo kit on it. Thing oh, was wow. really fast, really fun. I had a 95 Prelude. That was my first, Prelude VTEC. That was my oh, first sick. car. Definitely have a soft spot for Hondas. These things are awesome in stock form, honestly. It's a, yeah. it's a great well, car. And you're driving this thing dude, every day, my, Yeah, said. it's my daily driver. I this drive is his daily driver in LA. So if you see Brandon on the road, <laughs> <laughs> Honk or do Honk, something. Yeah. I mean, you must get a ton of looks with this thing. It's gotten to the point where now, like wherever I go, I add on like 20 to 30 minutes on top of it because <laughs> someone will stop me or <laughs> someone will come out of Starbucks and and it's fun. You know, we get to we get to kind of go back in time and talk about it. And you know, it'd be funny is if we found Ja Rule. You know, everyone happens to know a few things. And one of the things that we knows is it's not how you stand by your car, it's how you race your car. Learn All right, so we've got stock GSR, interior got some bits, outside fully accurate to the movie. Sure. So Tiny Bot, uh, they really helped me out with the, the vinyl. This is okay. dark gloss red. What's the color underneath? Red. Oh, the color's yeah, red so underneath. It's, so it's, it was a red okay. car, but yeah. I was like, instead of doing a whole paint job, yeah. I was like, let's uh, let's do something good. So we, um, yeah, they, they, they did the vinyl and A&E Raps did the, the wrap. It and then great. LRG did my graphics. Really glossy, like the wrap looks really nice. So now that we've seen your Integra, what do you think of our Fast and Furious tribute cars? We've got the Eclipse here. This, this one, pretty freaking cool, man. That's insane. This is actually my first time seeing it. What are you smiling about? Dude, I almost had you. <laughs> Built for G63, Quinn built the motor here uh, at Throttle. Uh, a little dirty right now, but this car dynoed at about 530 all-wheel horsepower, so this is a GSX. Holy so the no. one in the movie was you know, totally different. That was an right. RS, right. front-wheel drive, probably 200 horsepower. This one, this is a beast. That's um, insane. That's yeah. the one thing I always said too. I was like, you know, the car sounds great, but how, how fast is it really? But our, wow, 500? Yeah, so our whole idea behind building any of these cars is like Fast and Furious was, uh, you know, filmed today. Right. Everything is modernized. So, you know, doesn't have the giant body kit yeah. like it did. It's kind of OEM plus. We have a Carbonetics wide body kit that's kind of subtle, but allows us to run way wider wheels. I like it. It's like, it's the more, yeah, it's more yeah. modernized. Yeah. We have nitrous on oh, one geez. side. <laughs> The other side is retrofitted for the air suspension. Oh, really? Yeah, so we modified it so that it can have, uh, so it's on air, which air is ride. pretty cool. Wow. Um, yeah, this thing, it's freaking awesome. Sounds great. Uh, in Jeez, the back, we've got this crazy swan neck uh, APR. APR wing, custom rear diffuser. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, kind of different, like crazy cutout in the back. But yeah, we're, we're trying to bring this thing onto this versus that soon, hopefully. Oh, cool. We right. wanna race uh, the Hoonigans F-150 Lightning if we can, Jeez. or maybe even the Supra. But the Supra is gonna be about a thousand horsepower, so I don't know. That's, that's <laughs> impressive. But yeah, this wow. thing's pretty badass. Let's show you the Supra that's now. Sick. I can't take credit for any of the work on either of these, really. Uh, honestly, the team here just smashed it, you know? So they did a fantastic job. So this just debuted at SEMA. You ready for this, <laughs> I'm 
It is a uh, 94 Super Turbo, has a Speedwell's oh, wow. wide body kit that's okay. molded, so you almost can't oh, really wow. tell, but it is way wider. So we've got some massive uh, Motegi two-piece forged wheels. It's 15 inch diameter in the back. So we downsize the back so we can run a big Mickey Thompson ET Street R drag radial. Yeah, I was gonna uh, say, that thing's huge. Yeah, huge rear wheel. I mean, this thing, like I said, is gonna be making about a thousand. So we gotta make sure we put the power down. Knox bottles in the back Sick. with the I yellow roll that. cage. <laughs> Now these ones, this car is not on air suspension, so those are both nitrous. Nice. We've got direct port nitrous injection. Oh wow, so it's manifold. all hooked up. All right, so on the inside, this car is an original six speed with a V160, okay. uh, which is pretty rare. Uh, beautiful Recaro podium seats, carbon fiber everywhere from Carbonetics, Grip Jeez. Royal steering wheel. It's got the Haltech IC7. We're almost ready for the dyno on this one. And then this one's also gonna be going to the drag strip. Jeez. I think it's gonna run faster than 10 seconds though. Pop the hood. Hey, pop the hood. Pop the hood. All right, here she Holy. is. Quinn built the motor here. We've got Brian Crower internals, uh, Weisco pistons. Everything is done on this thing. Big Garrett. I was just going to say, how big is that? <laughs> it's thing. a giant. Plasma man intake manifold, Artec uh, exhaust manifold. We did all the fabrication here for all the charge piping. Yeah, CSF cooling, oil coolers, radiator, Gretty pulleys. I mean, everything is done on this D Schwartz fuel system. Um, we're, yeah, like I said, we're shooting for a thousand or so. And then underneath the intake manifold, what you can't see is all the NOS. This is Ooh. definitely a dream, dream come true kind of car. Yeah, yeah. Make me a <laughs> Yo, this thing's bringing back so much memories from the movie, dude, right now. I love it. I'm playing Jar Rule. Crazy, in my bro. So good. So is this the actual car? I don't. I don't know. No, it's, no. A, it's a very good replica of it. I love the wing. I love so the whole sick. kit. The whole kit looks so good. I know. There was a wing west, right? Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember back then, like yeah. even the uh, the Jetta had the wing west kit, and a lot of these cars, that's what they were. That's what they were running. Monica. <laughs> Momo wheel, Momo everything, dude. Yeah, I love it. To. This is the so, one car that nobody replicates. Yeah. So it's so cool for you to actually do it. Actually have somebody down here in California that does it. All right, I'm hopping in. Hopping in the tag. This brings back some memories right here. <laughs> there we go, the signatures here. Dude, bringing me back to the original days, the original car days. So how long have you owned this car for, officially? Um, Not that long. No, it's like you literally know. three weeks before Fuel Fest. It's probably about six months or so at this point. Yeah. Maybe, something like that. It's not very loud either. I don't have a full... It's, it's kind of good though. Cat back. Yeah. yeah. I have the DC muffler, but I don't have... It's stock exhaust other okay. than that. How many gears does this thing have? Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> five. Five speed, huh? Five speed. Yeah. So I wanted to ask you, like, why why build a Fast and Furious replica car? Like, um, you know, where you just really like the first movie or, you know, what, what got you into it? It was the people I met. Because um, I have my Porsche and, it, you know, it's a fun car, but I just met, you know, a few people through the Porsche community who then introduced me to Shahar and then Shahar invited me over on a Super Bowl Sunday. Um, okay. And I met all the guys and, and everybody was super nice. And uh, it, it just felt like a little family. Yeah. And you know, I, I love acting. Fast family? Yeah, fa yeah, fast family. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so, so Shahar has a couple cars and yeah. he's very well connected in he this is. space. So there's a whole community of people who build these replica cars. It seems like a very tight knit community. Yeah, We're very. kind of a part of it, uh, kind of on the outside because we do things a little bit differently, but it's really cool. And I think I would echo that, that like, one of the most rewarding thing is the people that you meet in the car community that kind of help shape the car community. So if you have a good experience with that, I feel like people are in this space for a long time. Yeah. You're building multiple cars, but if you have a bad experience, you know, maybe you build a car and then you're like, I don't want to do this anymore. Well, um, you know, it's funny is that's kind of what happened with the Porsche um, since I have a V8 in my 914. Okay. Uh, and all 911 suspension underneath. Uh, my girlfriend's dad and I, we pretty much built the 914 and had it 99% done. I took it to a mechanic and uh, he was just gonna fix the overheating issue. Well, I picked it up from him and 30 minutes from his shop, it blew up on the highway. Oh shit. And, uh, okay. and he didn't want to replace it. So wow. I was out a lot of money. I paid him cash, so he, went, he didn't pay me back my money. So I kind of got 
screwed on that deal, but sure. then I bought this, so it wasn't too, too bad. So it kind of worked out. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. but it did. Unfortunately, yeah. yeah, it worked out, because if it weren't for that, then I probably, to be honest, sure. I probably wouldn't even have this. Yeah, man, this interior brings back some memories, for sure. <laughs> One of my good buddies, Justin, had a 97 GSR Turbo K. It was like our first, you know, one of our first experiences building a car. Turbo is definitely fun. GSR, VTEC, I yeah. mean, these things last forever. There's another story behind this car. So when I went to pick this up and the old guy walked out of the house, <laughs> I, about, I was so, I was stoked, man. But this was him and his wife's like fun car. Okay. So when I picked it up, it had the slotted drilled rotors, the muffler, and then coilovers, and they would go in the canyons with his wife. That's cool. His wife ended up passing away. Okay. So this car sat in his garage, and uh, he goes, you know, I don't really want to get rid of it. He goes, but to be honest, it just it kind of just hurts to come out and see the car, and sure. I don't drive it anymore because of all the memories and stuff. So. He started asking me, you know, what do you plan on doing with it? I said, to be honest, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm gonna build it with my friends. And he goes, oh, okay. So it, yeah, it was kind of bittersweet when I did pick it up um, and the story behind it. But it's cool though, like, I, and that's one thing that I like about buying a car from a private party. For sure. Is like hearing their story. Right. And now this thing is, you know, getting in front of the eyes of so many people all over social media. It's cool, man. I mean, it's the, it's the perfect daily. Well, Brandon, I really appreciate you coming down. Yeah, Thank man, you so absolutely. much for showing us the car. Yeah, of Really course. cool. Kind of a, it's just a huge throwback for me personally. Uh, we all love the Fast and Furious franchise and uh, super, super cool. So. Thank you, yeah, and for me. Uh, if you guys like this video and you want to see us make more of this type of content, please subscribe down below. Let us know what you think in the comments section. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.